morning, fourth graders. Good morning. Good morning. Good All right, you're greeting today. Start with a high five. Go give a neighbor, friend, sister, brother, whoever you've got around you a high five and tell them good morning. Uh, for sharing today, what characteristics do you look for in a friend? So when you are choosing your friends, what do you look for in a friend? I guess I look for someone who is kind and trustworthy and um, someone who I can laugh with. How about you, Mrs. Schmidt? Same. I think they give me a laugh. That's a huge thing. I love laughing with my friends. And then just loyalty. Yeah, just being loyal. How about you, Mrs. Schmidt? You guys nailed it. Those are all great ones. Obviously, you want to, you know, things that you guys have in common, but differences are good, too, to do some different things, to uh, um, experience some other things, but laughter is huge. Yes. For sure. All right, so your activity today is to play a game with someone in your home, uh, either a board game, card games, rock, paper, scissors, anything you can think of. Just kind of take your night easy Friday and play a game with someone today. And All right. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, Sorry. We're giving our dog medication. <laughs> Mr. Schwana is interrupting. <laughs> um, all right. So good morning. Today is Friday, May 15th. Um, hopefully you guys have figured out all of your little mix-ups on your matrices and you've been tuning in to our morning meetings because we go through each of your assignments more in depth and hopefully to clear up if there's any questions. Thank you to those of you who've been reaching out to us the, um, with your questions and you've been contacting us with our cell phones, email, remind text messages. Uh -uh. So that's great. All of our contact information is down at the bottom. And remember your free breakfast and lunch that's available at Neville and every day from 1130 to 1230. So make sure you're still going there and, and getting those lunches and breakfasts every day. <clears throat> awesome. Yeah, I think just making sure, guys, to watch this morning meeting is huge. If you do nothing else on Seesaw or anything, that's okay. But this morning meeting tells you so much information every single day. So try to tune in either on YouTube or Seesaw. All right. All right, we'll start with reading. Um, for today, you're going to read the next two chapters, which are tw chapters 27 and 28. And then towards the front of your reading packet, you're going to complete the comprehension questions for chapters 25, 26, and 27. And if you don't have the packet, as always, right on Seesaw, you will find the exact same guided questions that you can answer on the template that's attached right to the, the reading for, that, for, for today. All right, for math, uh, we're finishing up week seven. You should be on day nine in your math activity packet. Um, it says fraction basics, but I think that was Thursdays, but I think uh, Fridays is also having to do with fractions, but there is a little video on Seesaw if you can get on and watch it to review the concept that we're doing for the day. And um, if you don't have your packet, that's okay. Some of the packets didn't get copied right, like we've talked about before. There is, um, you know, we've emailed those out or else you can also check on Seesaw. There is the same exact sheet that you would be doing in your packet. That's under the activity section of that video and um, lesson for the day. So you can check that out on Seesaw if you don't have your packet. And then Prodigy when you're done for a few minutes. Uh, all right, May news. Um, today, when you look at your matrix, it, it is actually correct. <laughs> Um, so today is actually social studies to so finish the study guide from our Southwest region. Um, so I'm, I had you read that on Monday, the actually read the article or the reading on Monday. If you haven't read Monday's reading, just check it out. I, I put it on Seesaw on Monday morning. Um, and if, if you look at it too, I did like sections of it, um, just because Seesaw only records for five minutes. So I did like the different sections of it. So just kind of follow along with that. Um, you'll figure it out. And then for Mrs. Noderman, tighten all your muscles, hold for five seconds, then relax, repeat three times, and breathe deeply. So when you have a minute to do that, um, that'd be a good relaxing thing to do. Um, and then for music, Mrs. Tharp, draw a picture to show loud versus soft. So forte versus piano. It's kind of a cool one. Mm -hmm. um, Post that on, on um not Facebook, um, post it on Seesaw and then <laughs> put it in the music file and that way she'll see it, sorry. Um, and then for Mr. Claire by Ed, today the focus is balance. 
How long can you balance on your left leg? And then what about your right leg? So those are fun ones to do. And of course, always post on face or gosh, on Seesaw. And then we'll take a look at it. Sorry. It's all right. Oh, I forgot my fun facts. Perfect. I'm going to go back. Sorry. Yeah, I was say, did you have one today? I did. Whoopsies. Let's pull that back up. Sorry, fun, weird facts for the day. Number one, flamingos bend their leg at their ankle. So if you ever look at a flamingo walk, they bend Wait a their... second. Oh, there we go. Okay. That's considered their ankle, I guess, oh, where they bend. That's weird. Mm -hmm. uh, another one I found, sloths can hold their breath longer than dolphins so can. <laughs> I love sloths. They're really cute. Oh, wow. Oh, I, I love sloths. I know. <laughs> that's like, Tommy's not up yet, but Tommy, like, that's his favorite animal. Yeah. And um, yeah. we saw one at the Como Zoo. They're funny little creatures, but that's interesting. I know. Jada has a giant one in her bedroom. So does Joey. Yeah. He loves it, too. <laughs> and then the last one, Fruit Loop Loops are all the same flavor. So even though they're different colored and they look like they're different flavors, they're all the same flavor. Tricky, tricky. So if you're a Fruit Loop lover, there you go. That makes sense. It does. <laughs> it, the same. it does. So that's it for today. Have a wonderful weekend, everybody. Have a great Friday, and we will see you again on Monday. Awesome. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.